Hey there, it's Ernie from Kitchen Tumblers, and today we are going to be doing a digital burst sublimation tumbler using the app Procreate on your iPad. So, stay tuned. Go ahead and do a screenshot of this page. I'll go into details later about everything that you're going to need, but most importantly, you're going to make sure that you have the Procreate app downloaded onto your iPad. I don't know if it works for um, Android devices, so you'll have to look into that. But I'm pretty sure there may be a program similar to it if it's not one on there already. Today I am using a file from Sassy Rogue Designs. I just found them on Etsy and they had a whole section of templates for bursts and peekaboos and so I went through that and I picked out the sunflower leopard um, template. Once you've selected your design you're going to upload it to the Procreate app and now that I have it here I'm going to start coloring it in to create my digital burst. So typically with the burst tumbler you would cut out your um, files on sticker paper, two-sided sticker paper, and kind of color it in with glitter. But here, we're going to do it digitally, and we're going to be making a sublimation tumbler. What you see me doing here is dragging and dropping colors onto the template and kind of like you would with the glitter colors but this time you're just using it in a digital way. There are many different palettes that you can use. There are palettes that you can purchase of different colors for Procreate um, and you can even create your own with pictures that you may have. You could see a picture at a store, take a picture of it, upload it to Pro Procreate, and it will find the colors within that picture so that it will create a palette for you. Um, a couple of those palettes that you see there are palettes that I've purchased, and I just like to kind of mix and match them um, to create different designs. So here you see I'm kind of testing out different colors to color in my, my um, sunflowers. And um, you'll see that if I make a mistake, I'll double tap to remove the mistake. You can erase, you can create different layers. There's a lot that goes into Procreate and it's a really fun app. I've been using it for about five or six years now. I use it mainly to do my digital planning, a digital calendars. Um, and I have an old YouTube, a couple of um, videos on it. If you were to search my real name Ernie Kitchen. I have a video a couple of videos of uh, my digital planning that um, I did. So I've been using Procreate for quite some time. It's a lot of fun. I can't say that I am a a master at it, but you know there's a couple of things that I can show you. Once you are satisfied with your design and your colors, you're going to click that wrench, wrench up top there and you're going to save it as a PNG. And you're saving it as a PNG, of course, so that that white is actually clear. It'll be a clear background. The good thing about the file that I purchased off of Etsy is that it was already sized for a 20 inch skinny tumbler. Now I'm using a new tumbler by Hog and it's a clear glass 20 ounce skinny sublimation tumbler. So it's not a perfect fit, 
However, if I were to have played around with the file, I mean played around with the um, file a little bit, I probably could have stretched it a little bit more. So you'll see that once we print this file for sublimation, it does not completely touch end to end, but it's not her file. It's the tumbler that I'm using and the file wasn't sized specifically for that tumbler. But I have a little workaround that I'm going to use. You see here, I'm just kind of prepping my sublimation tumbler, removing any dust or debris, and then I'll put my gloves on to make sure that I don't have fingerprints all over my tumbler. And now that I've got it um, wrapped with the sublimation print, make sure that when you're printing, you're printing a mirrored image, because I've done that by mistake sometimes, but make sure your image is mirrored, and you're going to go ahead and tape it to your tumbler. Um, and those little silicone rings there, I learned on TikTok from someone, and I wish I could remember who it was so that I could tag them, but they talked about how you, if you use those little silicone um, cup protectors um, on the ends of your sublimation, it will help with ghosting. And ever since I started doing that, it's so true. You don't have that kind of faded color on some of the edges of your tumblers, everything is nice and crisp when you use those. Just for a little added protection, I'm going to wrap butcher paper around the entire tumbler and I'm going to go ahead and place it into my tumbler press. I have my temperature set at 375 and I know that you'll see a timer on there. I don't use that timer. I use my own timer um, and one of the reasons is because as soon as you put your tumbler in the tumbler press, the temperature goes down to the temperature of the actual tumbler. I've tried warming up the tumbler first, all of that, it doesn't matter, it still goes down, which is not a problem, I feel it's, a, it's a workaround. So what I like to do is set my tumbler for three minute rotations, and I will put my tumbler in for three minutes, rotate it, do another three minutes, rotate it another, third, one more time, so in thirds, and do another three minutes. Once I take it, um, after the last three minutes, I take it out and I remove the butcher paper and then I put it in for 70 seconds in three rotations. Now that it is complete, I'm going to take it out and I'm just going to lay it on my heat mat, th mat there and I'm going to let it sit until it is cool. You do not want to touch the tumbler, one, because it's super hot, and then two, because it's glass, you definitely don't want to sit it on a cold surface because it will shatter. So after it has cooled, it is time for the big reveal. I love the look of it, it's giving stained glass and I think that is so pretty. Let's put some white paper in there just so we can see how it really looks. Isn't that beautiful? And so imagine designing any color that you want. You can make it black and white. You can make it hot pink and yellow, purple and a light purple. Like you can design this any way that you want, just like you would with glitter. So for a little extra razzle dazzle, and this is not a necessary step because technically the tumbler is complete. You do not have to seal your tumbler if you're doing sublimation. But I want to put a little resin on my tumbler here um, so that I can add a little shimmer to it. So 
to camouflage the areas that don't touch up I'm just going to use this nail tape in yellow to put a little contrast design and I'm going to use epoxy tape on the top of my tumbler on the rim of the tumbler to make sure that I don't get any epoxy on the rim I don't know if you noticed that I had installed a little silicone um, bottom cup bottom on inside of the tumbler to make sure no epoxy gets inside and then I'm just going to put this tape around the top to make sure that it doesn't um, get on the rim because epoxy and glass is a nightmare it's so much easier to clean it on acrylic or on those stainless steel tumblers but yeah so here you see I have a little shimmer from yeah it's a little shimmer from glitter glams um, and I'm just putting a tiny bit because I just want the littlest bit of shimmer on this tumbler. I don't want it to be overpowered with glitter. I just want it to have a little bit of a sparkle. So I added, added that to my epoxy mix and this is the final result. This is a 20 ounce skinny glass tumbler and the possibilities for this tumbler this style of tumbler, the possibilities are endless. Like I see our fellow iced coffee drinkers using this and I'm super excited. I got a case of it. I cannot wait to start designing some more things. But look at that, isn't that kind of neat? So if you found this video to be helpful at all, I'm gonna ask that you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you are not a part of the kitchen family team here, Go ahead and hit subscribe because I would love to have you as part of the group. Make sure you find me on TikTok. The name is Kitchen Tumblers. Find me on Instagram, Kitchen Tumblers underscore. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.